Hey, I'm Obi. This is Ed, and we're drinking from the Garden Hose, your new favorite podcast. Remember to you can get us wherever you get your podcast, including Apple and Amazon, and we just added not Spotify. We added uh, Samsung recently. So when you're there, go ahead and like us and subscribe and leave comments. Matter of fact, stop now and leave a comment and like and subscribe. All right, now we're back. I'm here with Ed. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about cars and see where we end up driving this show to. Ed, how are you? Doing great, Obi. Uh, yeah, very excited about this bonus episode to talk about cars. But most importantly, we're going to talk about electric cars and Teslas. So to do that, because I'm not that much of an expert on cars or Teslas, well, we have a special guest here today, and his name is Anthony. He's a 10-year-old fifth grader from Hagen Elementary School. And so, uh, Anthony, why don't you uh, introduce yourself, tell us about you, and tell us why you love Tesla. All right. My name is Anthony. I'm 10 years old in uh, Hagen Elementary, fifth grade. And the reason why I love Tesla so much is specifically because they're cool. Because, like, some Teslas can do things other Teslas can't. So, for example, the Tesla Model X is the only Tesla that has fully functioning automated doors while all the other... Tesla models don't have them. And yeah. All right. So, like I said, fully automated doors. Bet you didn't know that, Obi, did you? I didn't. So, let me, before we go on to what I do and do not know about Teslas, important note here. When I was getting my MBA a few years ago, we did our, uh, my, one of my group projects was on Tesla. And it was a decision on whether you should invest or not in Tesla, the stock. I'd like to say our group decided to invest successfully. Good, good call by us. But more importantly, this was right before they got away from only having the Sportster. So we went to them. We got to drive one. And we were talking to the guys. And they insisted at that moment in time, and this was maybe two months before they changed paths, that Tesla was not going to make an affordable car. They were going to stick only to the high-end market. And as Anthony knows, they, they've changed from that to now having other models that are a little more family-friendly like the X. So that's my background and what I know about Tesla. I have a sense here that Anthony knows a lot more than I do because I, I didn't know that the X was the only one with fully automated doors. Yeah, you know I know more when I already kicked off with the fully automated doors. <sighs> Absolutely. <laughs> Exactly. When you drop that knowledge, that's just you're telling everyone you're an expert, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, by the way, the Sportster is not a thing. It's called the Tesla Roadster. And there is a new Tesla Roadster coming out 2022 somewhere. I don't know when it's coming out, but all I know is it looks fierce. Let me tell you. It looks like a Lamborghini, but different. It looks like a Lamborghini. Very nice. So... I'm going to be driving an Italian model car that's an American-made car. Eh, so, not really. With a battery. With a battery. Yes, it's a battery. Right. So it's going to look like an Italian sports car. If you say it looks like a Lamborghini, right? I mean, it looks a bit different. Like, it doesn't have that front wing like that. It's it's more like a, almost like one of those cars that you you saw from like back to the future or something where it's like up like down. a delorean like not really a delorean but something that goes like straight and then up a little bit and then down a little bit and then it, it has a small aerodynamic wing on yeah the it's pretty yeah it's descriptive i i got it all right so i, I can picture it sleek yeah. sleek sexy. very sleek that's yes, right and so anthony why don't you walk us through a couple of the cool things about the uh because you said it's cool Tesla's yes, cool. Yes, walk us good. through walk us through a couple of the cool things about Tesla. So first, um, this actually I just learned it like two, three days ago. Um, that all the other models that are not the Model X can actually dance now. So the Model X, um, you may know or may not know that it has this feature in the toy box called um Model X Mist Light Show and it basically is a show with the, the back doors, the mirrors, like, and the front doors. And it's, it's amazing. It plays music as well. And then, and then apparently just, uh, this year, 2021, uh, somewhere around Christmas time, they dropped this, uh, new update in, in all the Teslas, which includes the Model 3, Y, and S. 
and because they don't have fully automated doors and then yeah and and then and from there you can just basically just bring all the teslas together and then you can just basically press start and it does that it does a christmas dance show so uh, yeah. i saw this you can google it google tesla like christmas dance show right well i mean first of course you got to go on youtube because youtube is the site where i found it search model 3 xmas dance or just model 3 light show and then you'll find a whole bunch of results on the tesla model 3 dancing and then you'll maybe see one or two results on the model x dancing be sure to check them out. They are really cool. And that's one of the reasons why I got interested in Tesla, the Model X. Specifically. So l let me ask you a question that may get you in trouble, but I'm going to have to ask. Mm -hmm. Is right. the Model X dance show better or worse than the Light on 6 light show? Oh, man. Actually, I think it's just it's behind us, just the smidge behind us. Okay. Well, well played, young man. Well played. I, I yeah. took I took him to a light show last night. Really good light show. He tells me that uh, it's all pixels, and he's allergic to pixels. Doesn't hold a <laughs> doesn't hold a candle to lights on. Six. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really hold a candle, specifically because we are non pixels, and if we add pixels, we'll need to change the whole entire light show just to pixels, a few LEDs. Like we don't really want that. We want like all pixels if we ever get pixels we need all pixels but we started with led so we're staying led all the way stand firm i like it yes yes uh, all right so anthony a lot of uh a lot of people listening to this podcast probably think that as as obi ta talked about that tesla was a high-end car maker right so everyone thinks oh i can't afford a tesla but can you t can you talk us through about how how maybe we could afford a tesla so I'll talk you through the higher prices that maybe if you're on the higher side of rich, but not too rich, you can afford these cars. So the first one, the most expensive car is the Tesla Roadster, the first version, specifically because they don't make them anymore. But then it's probably around 100000 that, but the one in first place for real is the second Tesla Roadster, which I just described a few minutes back yeah. with the like looks a bit like a Lamborghini that and then also like the one actually coming in second place is the Model X and you can buy the performance model which is like an extra five grand or something to and it has less range but it has more speed so like let's say it was like one 100 miles an hour right yeah so then if we buy the performance model, it goes up to like maybe 150, like 50 miles an hour faster. And then the charge range on the long range would be like, I don't know, 500 miles on a single charge. And, and how then, much does that cost? Uh, that and So without the performance model or full self-driving autopilot, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, by the way. So stay tuned for that. Um, it probably cost around like 90 100,000 somewhere okay. in between there. All right. And then what's what is the Model Y cost? Actually, the Model Y is really affordable except for they just raised the price on the Model 3 and Model Y. Uh, they raised the Model 3's price from 30,000, very affordable, to 40,000, pretty affordable, and then 40,000 from the Model Y to 50. You can afford it, but then if you add the 10,000 dollar full self-driving autopilot which i'm going to talk about in a minute like i said a minute ago i don't know why i keep talking about this um it it just adds an extra 10 grand to it which means it's like um 60 grand and 50 grand right? yeah so so we're talking 40 grand can get you a tesla but if you want to be lazy and not drive it it costs an extra 10 grand correct well actually you still need to keep your hand on the wheel if you just have forty thousand dollars if you just don't want to be too lazy but then if you want to be really lazy, you ten thousand down the drain. You get full self driving, which you still need your hands on. But if you're lucky and, and drive safe for at least a week or two, you may get the full self driving beta, which uh, is only available to a couple hundred people. Tesla just records their driving performance, and then they just give it to the people who are really driving well, and then um, yeah, now now. I'm assuming you're wondering, well, 
why in the heck is there like why did i tell you there's an s y s i mean s x three and y why did i tell you that well the s is like literally like 80 grand Mm -hmm. which that's basically toyota camry and and they just released a new model on the model x and model s it's called the model s plaid and the model x plaid and the model s and x plaid both have a yoke steering wheel which is basically not like an airplane it's just okay so picture this in your head right normal steering wheel right feels nice but then Imagine you just cut the top off. It's more like a go-kart steering wheel now with its curve on the bottom and then sure. it goes flat and then down, like goes so, around the frame of the steering wheel. A little bit like a horseshoe, you think? Not really like a horseshoe, but it's more like just a rectangle. Oh, okay. More like a rectangle with curved edges on the bottom. Got it. Got it. So, Obi, you taking yeah. notes? You, you know a little bit about Tesla now, right? I know a little bit about Tesla. You know, I, I was thinking whatever happened to car kids, but now we know, you know, they're not worried about Lamborghinis anymore. Apparently they're they're worried about the new Tesla, which is a pretty cool change. So I'm going to ask you a, a question then. All right. Fire away. A, I mean, a lot of people have heard of Tesla and know what it is. All right. You know anything about karma? Oh, I think I know a little bit. So there's this viral in TikTok on youtube it was actually and so there's this thing called hashtag honda bump all right hashtag honda bump and basically it it's in the name honda's bump teslas or crash teslas like where the honda's total tesla is so safe like i saw this video once and it's the channel's wham bam tesla cam in case you want to know basically all about Tesla's crashing and how people survive in Tesla's and like all of models are family friendly not only that they have a five star crash test rating and all the crash tests and the Model X is the only SUV that cannot stay on its roof Tesla tried multiple times to put it on its roof just rolled back onto its wheels again I'll so I want to congratulate you on, uh, and Elon Musk does, on how you completely turned the question that you didn't know into some a great answer. And that, that was awesome. You have a future, young man. But I'm going to encourage you when we get off the, this call and you're getting your ride back to where you live with your uncle to Google Karma, K-A-R-M-A. They are in another what? electric car brand. And just see what you think of them. And then you can report back to your Uncle Ed and maybe back to us after you've looked at them. And seen what Karma, K-A-R-M-A, it's another electric car brand. And just take a look so you can expand your knowledge. All right. I know I, nothing I, about them. I just know they exist. Yeah, I didn't even knew they exist. So you're on another level than me. Like, you know about this Karma electric car company, which, by the way, has barely anything to do with Tesla. And yet they're trying to gain on tesla how is that possible no idea but all i know is i'm going to talk a little bit more about the tesla before we get off this call and done with this podcast all right but i got one more question for you and then we can go back to tesla real quick so what do you think of the ford mustang ev honestly um let's just say i liked it as the original better like every day uh, or most of the time when i go to my grandma's I, there's this Ford dealer and I pass it and I like see like a few uh, Mach-E Mustangs and sometimes I see them driving around and I'm like, I honestly really loved the old one better. Not only because it has a little bit better acceleration, but because it also has um, like all like that engine sound, like that gasoline smell, like it's amazing then also the ev it it just looks ugly like it's it's not even a mustang like it's more an suv than a mustang like and the grill it just looks ugly while on the model s and x um it just looks like it actually has a grill it looks like it actually right. has a um a grill yeah 
All right. So. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you that was much. definitely for calling the 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 Mustang ugly because that I think I look at that car. I'm like, what are you doing? Why why are you calling this a Mustang and giving me that uh, and giving me like a An Nissan SUV. Rogue? Yeah, why do you does Ford just be like, hey, this electric Mustang is way better than the must the original Mustang? Totally better. You should totally buy it. It's totally not. A body of a Nissan Rogue, but with no grill and just the battery inside of it. Totally not. <laughs> All right, so we, I'm glad we got your opinion on the on the new Mustang. Yeah. So you know we're we're running out of time on our podcast, but I know yeah. you have a couple more things to tell us about Tesla. Right. So what are those other things that you really want to get in today for everyone to know? So for everyone to know, Tesla is actually not a joke. I've been in a Tesla Model Three performance, by the way, amazing. Thank you to. Uh, Kyle, I don't know his last name, but thank you, Kyle, for letting me have the ride. In case you're listening, thank you for letting me have the ride in your Tesla. The EV torque on that thing, 0 to 60 on the Model 3 Performance, and believe it or not, three seconds. Yeah, three seconds. What kind of G-forces do you pull when you go 0 to 60 in three seconds? No idea. I haven't researched that yet. I okay. mean, I thought I did, and then I got to 0 to 60 in three seconds. But whatever. It's still something. And then there's like this romance mode like and there's a whole bunch of games and then let's say wait, 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 let's wait. let's talk a little bit about romance mode. okay mode. go on <laughs> what, what is romance mode so basically in the toy box you click on that it brings up a fire on the screen and then you click it again it it puts in heat to the car through the air vents uh-huh and then if you click again it just does music so is it like sexy music uh i mean kind of Oh, okay. well, speaking about sexy, one of the things that Anthony has failed to mention is he hasn't taken the time to say there is the Model S, the Model 3, yeah, the no, Model I was X, talk about the that. Model Y. What's that spell? <laughs> yeah, except for here's the thing. Here, I didn't know this until like a few days ago. Um, the Mustang Mach-E actually took Model E from tesla but like they've been planning it for a few years like ever since before the model 3 was created like they already had the body they're thinking of making it model e since the model s x were already created so then instead if you just put the three in it looks a bit better because then it's more family friendly you know exactly because you don't know it's saying sexy yeah, be, unless you figure out how to put the three backward, then yeah. you and then you realize. That. Yeah, then you realize sexy time, right? Eh, I mean, also, if you want to leave leave your kids in the car for a few minutes, you can just le- turn on a racing game, which Beach Boogie Racing Two, and it actually uses the steering wheel, and it's really fun. I won on the first time ever playing it, which honestly. It's really fun. Like, if you want to leave your kids in the car while you just pick up, like, one or two groceries quick, might yeah. as well just turn on Beach Boogie Racing or YouTube or something. So that's that's kind of a cool point that Anthony brings up because, you know, back in the day, parents would leave their kids in the car all the time unattended, right? With the windows up, 100 degrees out, and, you know, yeah. you got away with it. You didn't go to jail. You try that stuff today, as long as if it's not a Tesla, you probably go to jail. And hey, there's wait. a dog mode, too. Wait a second. Back in the day, when they left me and my little brother in the car with the windows off, we could t- lower the windows manually. Let's not forget how old we are, Ed. But yes, yeah, that, that is true. But you go to jail now if you leave your kids in the car, unless it's yeah. a Tesla, because you can tell the cop, hey, they were playing Beach Boogie. Racing 2 or whatever. Racing 2, exactly. And it's a Tesla, like the most advanced car ever. Exactly. Oh, and I have one more thing before we leave. All right. Um. The Tesla has a dog mode and camp mode, so I'll tell you a bit about the dog mode. Not too much in depth, and then a little bit about the camp mode as well, not too in depth. So the first dog mode, you activate it by clicking on the fan in the Tesla screen at the bottom, and then you press dog mode, and then basically when you lock the car, it puts this thing on the screen, and it it says, don't worry, it's blank amount of degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius inside the car. And an owner will be home soon, kind of thing. And nice. then, and then the camp mode—it's—it's it, it's explainable. It's—it's it's a camp mode. You can put down seats, buy a 
aftermarket um, sheets and pillows and blankets and that stuff. For, so you can actually just camp in there and then you can watch Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, on, like just entertainment, basically. Can you can you combine camp mode and romance mode? Um, actually, I don't think you can, but you can activate the toy box in camp mode. Okay. Not in dog mode, because obviously dog in the car can't play. You don't want the dog games. playing games, yeah, right? Yeah, because then yeah. he'd just be barking and trying to kill the screen and, and killing your so, forty or $100,000 car. So when Elon Musk watches this, and he will, because there's an 11-year-old who knows more about his cars than he does, we are going to suggest, Ed and I, that you put romance mode into camp mode, you know, because Ed and I have been there. I mean... Romance and camp mode should be like a combo. Like, maybe you pay an extra five grand for that. No, yeah, not an extra five grand. Maybe an extra like three or two grand. At ex- least an extra two grand. At least each two grand. You, okay. Each time you use it, because it's like a vacation. That's right. So you pay to play. Oh, each time what? you think it should be two grand? No, Anthony? no, no, just, no, no. Just one time by two thousand dollars. It's like the performance in full self driving. You just just buy it and it, and then you just basically spend an extra 10 15 grand on the Except, car. but but we're talking two grand for romance slash camp mode yes but okay. the camp mode can come with the car and then they can just pay an extra two grand to put it on there nice on camp mode. nice all I right like that'd be a thing awesome so obi any closing thoughts here and then we'll we'll let anthony close us out once you once we know what closing thoughts you have I think I'm good. I think uh, just a reminder. I, now you've watched this whole episode. You listen to this whole episode. So go ahead, like us, rate us here on whatever podcast form you're on. Uh, I'm Obi, and we're gonna let Ed and Anthony sign off. So Ed, take it away. Yeah. So this has been a great experience uh, learning about Teslas yeah. from Anthony. Anthony, thanks for being with us today. It was, uh, no problem. It was a blast. No problem. No problem. I mean, it, it, it. I've been wanting to be on this podcast for like I don't know, almost a half a year now, and and. Now that I'm finally done, it, it actually feels really nice to finally be on this podcast. Thank you very much. Um, we are Ed, Obi, and Anthony signing off from Drinking from the Garden Hose. We'll see you next time. Rate us, leave comment, like us, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave comment down below if you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time on Drinking from the Garden Hose. All right. Take it away. <laughs>